Hi guys, it's Suzette. Welcome back to my channel, Non-Toxic Glitter. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look that um, I wanted to do for just casual kind of going out using the products that I purchased yesterday in my Mineral Fusions haul, which the video is on my channel. Also, I will be using some other products that are still clean beauty and I wanted to show you the look. So I'm just going to get started. I'm not going to talk very long about the items. I'm just going to kind of show you and then I'm going to go right in and do it. So I already prepped my skin, of course, using my Tatcha Brightening Serum, my favorite stuff ever. And then my water cream as well. And I always mix that with sunscreen because it's important to wear sunscreen. Got my little lip, my cool little lip balm. And then I use an eye cream as well with sunscreen. So going in, first thing I'm going to do is prime my skin. So I'm using the Mineral Fusion Color Correcting Primer. So this comes out pretty quick, I guess you can say, like when I squeeze it. So I'm just going to go ahead and be really careful. nice thing about this is I don't really need that much I noticed just got to be careful with the pump because like I said it kind of comes out a little bit quick and then you squeeze and then tons of it comes out at the same time just putting this all over my face specifically my cheek area which you guys know I have a lot of redness um, that well again my Tatcha skincare has really decreased that but I still, of course, have some redness from my keratosis pilaris. Feels really nice on the skin, though. Okay, do a little bit on my forehead. Don't really have redness on my forehead, but I'm still just gonna put some on there, and then a little bit on my chin as well. I love the way this feels on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy or like silicone-y. Not really a fan of primers like that. I feel like everything slides around. And also I've been trying to get away from using primers that are silicone based just because I don't know exactly, but I believe most of those are not clean. So, all right, so face is primed. Moving on to my foundation, I'm gonna use the Mineral Fusions liquid foundation in the shade Olive 2. I showed you guys yesterday. Shake it up a little bit. I'm just going to use a regular foundation brush. Expert face brush by Real Techniques. I'm not really going to talk about this much, but I'm just going to go in and start blending it out. I always like blending outwards when I apply foundation pulling the makeup out, if that makes sense, so, and just kind of patting it into my skin. And I have a lot of beauty marks on my face and freckles, so I really like to have those show. I don't really like covering any of that up, so I don't really like a heavy feeling application or foundation in general. I like still seeing, being able to see my natural face and skin, I guess you can say. I've always been like that, I don't know why. I just like feeling having a light feeling on my face throughout the day. And that's blending out really nicely. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead. Cover up a little bit of redness I have there. I always pull it to my hairline. Just 
just a little more on my chin. Sometimes I like using my finger too, just depending. I feel like if the foundation's, depending on how liquidy it is, it'll actually feel better and it'll go on better when I use my finger. And like the warmth of my fingertips. And I love this foundation. So that's what it looks like. Feels great on the skin. I'm gonna go in with my smoothing eye primer now. The one I got yesterday. Just shake it up. And just put a little bit. Just pat it onto the eyelid. This is very, it feels very like refreshing I guess you can say. I don't know how to describe it. Whenever I put it on my lids it feels like cooling kind of. I am going to use a little bit down under my eye just like it says I can. Here's my lids. I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow trio I got in shade Espresso Gold. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's really pretty. I'm just gonna do not a crazy look today, just a little bit with the espresso, well, with the shimmer, the gold shimmer shade. So I'm just gonna use that basic eyeshadow brush. Just kind of pat it into, just lay it on my lid. Like. Really pretty, just basic gold. I'm gonna use my. Actually, I'm gonna use my. No, I'll use this one. I'm gonna blend it out and use the other shade here. This one now. A little bit. Kind of blend it into my crease a little bit. The shades do, the shimmer and the cream color I'm using do have some fallout too. But we will see how it wears today. Okay, I'm gonna go in, that's how it looks like. I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner now. This is the shade Valley, the liquid eyeliner. I don't know if it needs to be shaken, but I always kind of shake it and use like a habit. I'm just going to line my lid. It's a beautiful color. It's like a beautiful chocolate. See how it dries down? Usually with my everyday looks, I don't like doing a line, a wing, I mean, I just kind of like doing the regular look. Kind of going to the edge of my lashes, and you'll see that right now. It's beautiful, I love that. It's not obviously quite black, it's definitely like a brown, but it's really pretty. 
I'm just drawing it down so it looks like. Really nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with concealer. It's a little bit out of order, but. I'm using the Cover FX Powerplay Concealer in the shade G Medium 2. Looks like this. I've been using this for about three months now. I love it. Make sure that my I just go in a little bit like that, and then I have like a little bit of a red spot that I like covering up around here. So I just go in there with that. I'm going to use a concealer brush. Multitasker concealer brush and just kind of push that into my skin. A lot of times with concealer, I end up using my finger also, but I'm just kind of start with this. Drag it down, of course. my eyes and I set it of course is the cover effects matte setting powder That's what it looks like and I'm in the shade medium pretty sure they discontinued this which is pretty devastating because I absolutely love this setting powder been using it again for a few months and I think it's absolutely amazing but I don't know if it's I don't know if I can get it anywhere now I'm gonna, I just put a little bit in the top and I just kind of go in and like pat it into my skin. Then a little silly, but I like using something else on my forehead area. I kind of go back and forth, but I love using this too. This is the Ilia Fade Into You Translucent Powder. And I got this in my Autumn Edit. Just a basic translucent powder. So when you pop it off and you twist it, it turns into a really pretty brush. And it's really convenient. So I like using that to set my, kind of the rest of my face, I guess you can say. The brush is just super soft. And I just kind of pat it into my skin. The area is easier for like your forehead and your chin for sure, but it is able to be used for the rest of the face. Yeah, I love the way it feels after. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with bronzer now. This is the Han Skincare Cosmetics All Natural Bronzer in the shade Maui. That's what it looks like. I love this bronzer. I've been using it nonstop. It's like a perfect brown, no shimmer. Easy to contour with. And I don't really do a crazy contour. Just kind of dip my brush in. just drag it up my face like a three like easiest way to do it like that that's always been what I've seen people do as far as like makeup artists and I feel like it works for me and I take it on my chin as well a little bit
I love bronzer so much. Probably overuse it, but that's okay. Because it's beautiful. Okay, and that's what it looks like on. I love it. Next, I'm going to go on with blush. I've been using the Ilia Multi Stick in the shade At Last, which I got in my Autumn Edit bag. This is, of course, like a removable top. This is the color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I like doing is just using my fingers, of course. I don't really like using a brush for this because it's cream. I've always been really intimidated by cream, so I thought this is amazing. So I just go in and just smile and then apply. So the thing with this is I like pushing it into my skin again and letting my, like, the warmth of my fingertips kind of let it melt into my skin. The shade's so beautiful on my skin. It's like a perfect rose color, but it doesn't overtake my skin tone, but still, you can see it nicely. This formula is super creamy, easy to blend out, and stays on for hours, which is crazy because I feel like my, usually like blush just disappears on my face the fastest. I don't know why, but it does. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with my, to do my eyes, and then my lips, and then we're do, we'll be done. So I'm going to use my Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. That's what it looks like. Oh, I do need to do my brows too, but it takes a few seconds. Just gonna go in. I have to use primer on my lashes. I feel like they're so fragile and I don't wanna pull them out on accident. So I always use primer on my lashes to kind of create that barrier. So that when you are, of course I'm really gentle, but when I wash my face, I'm, I try to be really, I try to baby my lashes as much as possible. And I don't use a eyelash curler. I don't know how to. Definitely feel free to make fun of me about it, but I don't. I never have. I just apply primer and mascara, and then they just kind of curl. I don't know if how, but I just I think they're just naturally curly. So that's what it looks like. Nothing crazy, just white primer. I'm going to go on with the Mineral Fusion Min uh, Ridge Lash Curling Mascara, the one that I got yesterday. The excess it's the brush tip. So it says it's supposed to find my curls and right now all it's really doing is smudging but we can work through that see how it does on the top It's not doing much for separating, if anything, it's kind of clumping them together. It's a very wet feeling formula too, which is not necessarily bad, but it's definitely making it hard to like have them separate. What it looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with 
purchased some Brow Last Long Wearing Brow Gel by Physicians Formula. This is the darkest brown. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if this if Physicians Formula is clean, but I know that they have a lot better ingredients than most. But it's definitely really as it says, like it's super long lasting. You just have to be careful because it dries down super quick. So I'm gonna use this until I'm done with it. Just because I don't know how good the ingredients are, but I don't want to waste it. These are, my tails are so sparse nowadays. So this is really the only area that I actually apply eyebrow product. I'm gonna fix that one after. Yeah, I have a really full arch, so I don't need to really put any product there. And I choose not to, so it's not too heavy. I don't want my brows to just overtake my face, even though they're already large. But I like my large brows. Or thick, I guess you can say. That's what my brows look like. And next we do lip. I'm using the Mineral Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade Elegant that I got yesterday. Just line my lip. That's the shade. And I already used my Dr. Bright Naturals whitening pen. So we'll see. Last thing is the Mineral Fusion lipstick in the shade Tempting. It's the one I got yesterday. It's like this really beautiful deep red. Super creamy. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna spray my face. With the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. I've been using this for a few months, I love it. And that is my completed makeup look using clean beauty products. I hope you guys like my video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.